So today in this video, I'm going to tell you how much salary you should get as a clinical SaaS programmer fresher. So a lot of factors that will contribute how much salary you should get as a fresher. It's depend upon your educational background. It depend upon your pass out year. It depend upon the company you're getting selected. You can consider the educational background and pass out year in one factor. Another factor you can consider the company, how much big the company is. The third factor will be how good your interview was. These are the key factors that will contribute in your salary. At the end, we'll be also discussing about the default salary for a clinical SaaS fresher if you're getting selected in a mid-sized company or in a big company. So let's start. So if your educational background is like from different background like electrical, mechanical, civil, okay, or any other background, you are getting selected for clinical SaaS role that is called statistical programmer. And if the company is small company, okay, so they are going to negotiate mostly the salary or they will be having their fixed bracket okay the salary range for fresher so they might give you an average of 2.5 or 3.5 or around 4 okay if it is a mid-size or small size company as in fresher if your educational background is like different background you are not belonging from statistical biological or life science background okay or not from b pharma other backgrounds are there or you will be getting around 4 lpa let's suppose the company is asking for the fresh graduate who passed down in 2023 or 2022. Again, your educational background is like 2015, 16, 18, 19 or 20, any can be, okay? In that case also, you are getting selected for a small company. Then mostly you'll be getting around 4 LPA or 3 LPA. That will be the average pay or that will be the pay. Now talking about, let's suppose you are from the same background or any background, but if the company is big, if the company is MNC, the top 10 companies, so they also have a fixed salary bracket for fresher. So if you got selected in one of those companies, they, they are fixed about their salary. They'll pay you 4 LPA, 8 LPA or 10 LPA as well. Let me tell you some of our students got selected in a package of 8 LPA. Even their educational background was different and even they were having gap. Let's suppose they passed out in 2020. They got selected in 2022. So they were having one or two year gap. Still, they got the package of 8 LPA. So the company who selected these candidates and offered them 8 LPA, the company is having a fixed bracket range that if they are selecting a fresher, no matter which educational background they are, no matter what's the pass out year, if they are getting selected, if they are cracking the interview, they are going to get that package of 8 LPA. So there are multiple factors. There are big companies. If you got selected, they will not mostly negotiate. They have the fixed bracket. They are going to pay you high. It can be 5 LPA, 6 LPA, 8 LPA. Now coming to the scenario is 6 LPA or 8 LPA or 9 LPA. These are high salaries for fresher. How are we going to know that what is the average salary or high salary for the fresher? As an 8 LPA, if you will ask to me, that is good amount of salary. You can consider it in the high bracket. If you are getting selected as a statistical programmer and the salary you are getting 8 LPA, that is a good salary. And what can be the low salary? The low salary can be 3 LPA or 2.5 LPA. And that will be mostly offered from a small size company or mid size company. So in that case, what you should think? See, initially you should focus upon like learning part. If you're getting learning, let's suppose you got selected in 2.5 LPA or 3 LPA. You learned a lot in those one year or two year. You worked for one year for the same company. Now it's time for hike. Either the company will give you good hike because initially they hired you on 2.5 LPA, 2 LPA or 3 LPA. So they have to give you 30, 40, 50 or 60 percent hike to match or to give you an average pay in the market. So they will give you good hike. If they are not giving you, most probably you're going to change the company and you're going to get a good amount of hike. Like let's suppose you got hired with a 3 LPA package. You work for one year. Company is not giving you, let's suppose not giving you good hike. Most probably you'll get good amount of hike 30 or 40 percent or 50 percent. But if you're not getting good hike, once you'll switch the company now after 3 LPA, you can easily get up to 8 LPA. So any factors can be your educational background, and another factor is, let's suppose there is a mid-sized company. You have given your interview, you cracked the interview, but you should know the interview you cracked, that was a good interview or not. He selected or you actually cracked. There, there is a difference, the interviewer selected you and you actually cracked. So if you find, I have given the interview in a decent enough way, the knowledge I'm carrying as of now, as in fresher, if I'm like, cracking the interview in the clinical and I'm having the knowledge of SDM, Adam table listing in a proper way. And I have cracked the interview in a proper way. What can be the best average salary for fresher clinical SaaS programmer or statistical programmer that will be around 4 LPA? Now you might have a question 
then in india like i am getting an like salary of 4 lpa will that helpful to me i am moving to different location like bangalore or hyderabad see guys uh, what i'll tell to you even if you are getting 4 lpa na don't worry just think that you, this is your last investment if you think okay my spending will be more okay let's suppose your x y z expenses are more if you are thinking in that way so if you are spending one year with that company after one year you can easily get 8 lpa you can get double salary right you can switch the company if you are not getting good amount of hike in the same company so the best salary for fresher i'll assume 4 lpa the good salary can be for fresher that can be 8 lpa and there can be x y z factors as i told your educational background your pass out year and your interview how was the interview and the company how big the company was on top of that you should always remember whatever these factors are these are for the freshers only once you get experience then it will be your skill how much skill you are having then your educational background your pass out year your academic the company these things will be not matter a lot then the only thing that will matter in the next interview once you get experience let's suppose after 2 year you are giving interview at that time the most important thing will be the last project you have worked in the last company you have worked on the basis of that there will be interview questions so hope you got some clarity initially i feel 4 lp is a good amount of money 8 lp or 9 lp that is a very good amount of money and what can be the low salary that can be the low salary in the worst case that can be 2.5 or 3 lp but i believe nowadays maximum all the companies are offering 3 lp or 3.5 lp okay for freshers so the good salary can be 4 lp and easily after one year you can reach up to 6 7 8 9 10 okay so if you found this video useful just do a like on the video and you can share with your colleagues who are actively looking for job in clinical sas and you can also comment your question in the comment box i'll try to make a video on those topic if that is important or i'll try to answer in the comment itself okay so bye bye everyone